have you seen that goddamn extension cord? I can't even focus this shit. My name is... I'm so nervous, like it should a party of five. Okay, need to warm up. Stop it, Kenny, stop it, Kenny, I'm sorry. Hi, my name is Rob. <clears throat> this is my security bear, Kenny, named after the famous Ken doll. He's actually a backstabbing two-faced bitch, but that's not here or anywhere. Basically, Kenny and I are about to embark on an adventure um, to find, track down, if you will, scary, spooky stuff. A scary adventure. I just, I'm sorry. Town to town, people to people, spooky to scary. Uh, anything, just whatever, any whatever. Just packing the essentials for a long day's spooky journey into night. Of course, I'm bringing appropriate literature, The Duke of Insufficient Light by Herb Otter. It's a bestseller. And I don't go anywhere without I Thought You Were It by Anita Reelman. This one touched me in ways that might be illegal. <laughs> and Kenny's just going to bring whatever he wants to bring. I'm always a friend. If you're just about ready, let's go find us some heebie-jeebies, shall we, Kenny? Well, here we go. And I think I speak for both Kenny and myself when I say the excitement is right at DEF CON 4. I don't know where we're going. Um, we're not going to look too hard. What is it they say? Um, don't look and it will come to you or something? They made a whole big movie about that. Don't look and, and they will come or something like that. So. But that's just ass talk. you got to look somewhere. Close my eyes, I am rhythm. It's gonna be my special little video project. Spooky and scary, a little bit hairy like Kenny. <laughs> For God's sake, cheer up, Kenny. Well, we stopped at our first spooky town. The town of Rockville, which kind of has a spooky name to it anyway, you know, kind of like Rockville, like at any moment you're just going to be, you know, hit by a rock or something. Whatever. Seize the moment. Shut up, Kenny. Oh, there he is. Excuse me, sir. Pardon me. Excuse me. Hey, it's coming right now. Hey, sir. Is, is there any, I guess, maybe a particular relative or something in your family that just sometimes gives you the willies because he or she is scary or something? You mean like Jill? What's scary about Jill? What what just scares you about Oh, nothing. What? Well, well. Well, sometimes she she knows things that I don't know how she knows them. Wait, well, that's good. Uh, within those nine years, has there ever been anything scary or a spooky story that might, you know, come to mind? That um, something really going to get you scary type? Really going to get me scary type? Um, maybe the baby spit up all over me just yesterday. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Hmm? Um, I'm doing sort of a little documentary type thing. I wonder if you could um, answer a couple of questions. All right, sure. Is, is that thing on? Yeah, yeah. The, the little red light here lets you know. No, it's up there. It's here. up there. there. This one? No, it's up. It's it's close. This one? Here, it's right there. Oh. Okay. In all of your experience living here, do you know of anything spooky that might have happened? Something I don't just that's given you the willies. I don't know. Anything. Um, spooky. You speak your English, eh? Uh, some um, days it's I do this to me. I got a funny drink that's and should I run him? Um, I wonder if I could just ask you a couple of questionios. It's uh, about um, scary uh, stuff. Uh, popcorn. Kind of scary right there. Um, but what I'm looking for scary? Is a scary story, uh, maybe a Halloween or something that spooked you out, or just a, a story it's, in your family. It's that July. 
It's, it's, it's not Halloween. Why, why do you want to do a Halloween story? It's too hot. Something about um, scary noises that yeah, you hear? Yeah, 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 at night, out in noises. I wonder what it is. What kind of, of noises are, are, are they? Oh, like something dropping or falling or... Could it possibly be something dropping or, or falling? It could be. <laughs> is that a dog? around. Is that someone in there? Let me go check in the office real quick. Let's see if there's a little bit of a walk in the camera. Excuse me? Can I help you? Hi, yes, you work here? Yes, I do. Yes, um, I'm putting together a little sort of documentary um, on scary, spooky stuff. I wonder if you could answer a couple of questions. Well, excuse me, but did you sign in the visitor book? No, no, I know that's policy, but I wonder if yes, I could just no, ask... You're not, no, you have to sign in the visitor book, and you have to get a visitor badge but before you can even go anywhere in the building. Just a couple of questions. I'm sorry, this is policy. You have to do this, or I'm sorry, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. It's very difficult to write and hold a camera same time. We have black squirrels. Um, not everybody has black squirrels. And gray ones and brown ones, too. <laughs> I mean, maybe there's an old story in your family history that's just spooked you out. Something, something really, you know, spooky. I, I had a, I was not spooky, though. What? Well, no, go ahead, please. Well, my Uncle Wilbur, uh, uh, once for Christmas, his, his grown children all all got together and beat him up for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Maybe there's a story. Or, are you from this area? Uh, I well, I have asked well, nearby. Uh, yeah. I, I work for the government. Oh, okay. Is that scary enough? That's a little frightening. Oh, um, Cookie Monster, let me look in your bag. Uh, any cookies? You got cookies. That is rubbing me the right way. What are you doing this evening, sir? <laughs> Run for your ass, Kenny. He's coming. Kenny. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. Um, I guess I just thought Rockville would be a little scarier than that. Um, but hey, that's okay. Uh, you just gotta move on, you know. Just pick up and go. What if they say you, you fall off a horse, you gotta, you know, you gotta kill it. You get a cab or something. Kenny? It wasn't that bad, Kenny. He's a little upset. Somehow it went. He's disappointed. So was I. He's a sensitive bear. I got out of control. I raised my voice. Kenny? I have a really good feeling about today. And I think Kenny is pumped also. We had a little powwow last night and decided that we're just going about it all wrong. We're too much here and not enough here. So this time we're just going to go with the flow, um, let the vibes speak to us and the universe and all that, you know, use the fourth blue. Well, I think we found what we were looking for. We stopped in the town of um, Gaithersburg. It's spelled wrong, but still, this is definitely the place. Just can't get the camera up the shit tripod. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay, this is it, definitely. I'm getting nothing but positive, spooky vibes from this whole area, this jurisdiction. I just have to find Excuse someone. Excuse me, are you from the media? Um, no, I'm, I'm doing like, it's like an independent, um, Is that your video uh, docu... camera? Is that your video camera? No, it, it is, but I haven't turned it. You no. can't do that here. I haven't even taken the lens. You can't cap videotape off. here. But it's, it's I'm just a couple you, of. I just need to talk to some people about spooky, you, scare, you know, something scared, something scared. Just you can't do that. Jesus Christ! Fuck it. I'm sorry. It's just. I thought it would be a little more thrilling, but I'm, I'm just disappointed because it seems that there's nothing scary anymore. Nobody is spooked by anything because we have all our desensitized by the video and the virtual kill, 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 that just people just don't use the internet. And it just, it just doesn't make any sense. I thought it would be a little more exciting and I'm a little...
little pit. You can dry, Kenny. I talked it over with Kenny, and we decided we're just gonna find our own ghost story out here alone in the woods. I hope I'm not allergic to any of this shit. I think something's spooking Kenny out. It's okay, Kenny, come on down. It's getting really spooky now. We must be five miles away from anything. It's tough to explain. Imagine yourself the last person on Earth, and all you have is your will to live, your instinct to survive, and your security bear, Kenny. I feel like we've been walking for two weeks and a day or so. Well, maybe two weeks. Oh my God, it's a pile of rocks. Why would there be a pile of rocks here, Kenny? Why? Hmm. Wait a second. This looks like the same bridge. No, this is not the same bridge. This is not the same bridge. This is... No, it isn't. Where the hell am I? Jesus, if I'm really lost, I'm suing something. This is really stupid. This is a bad idea. This is stupid. Oh my God. This is a really stupid, bad idea. I don't recognize anything. I have no idea where we are. Just, just lost. Lost like two. Whatever, this camera is heavy. This is a good place to camp, Kenny. Let's make this home. Okay, Kenny, we're just gonna stay here for a little while and see what happens. It's pretty scary, though. The smell of this blanket alone is giving me the jelly beans. Anyway, Kenny's sleeping, I think. Can you see Kenny? He's sleeping over there. That's him. He's just tucked away like a little bear. Sleep tight, little guy. Seems pretty peaceful, I suppose. Oh my God. Oh my God, what's that sound? What the hell is that? What the hell is that sound? It sounds like a bunch of witches and demons and, and goblins and, or maybe a single parent trying to raise a child. Oh my God, what is that? What is that? Ew, there's some kind of substance on, what is, oh my God, all of this witchcraft, ooh, a napkin, good. Stuff. What? Oh no. Oh no. Please don't say it so. Somewhere there is a woman walking around with just one of these on. I'll take this home anyway. Kenny. Kenny. Kenny, don't. This isn't funny, Kenny. Kenny. Oh my god, they killed Kenny. I'm such a whore. I promised I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> I just want to apologize to Kenny's parents and everybody because this is all my fault. I was the one who really wanted to do it and Kenny was against it from the beginning. I told him it would be spiritually rewarding and that there would be a lot of fish. And now he's gone and it's my fault. I just want to say I'm sorry. There's something in my eye. All right, it was a stupid idea. Sometimes in the summer I just, I get delirious and I go off on a tangent that never ends and 
Whatever, Kenny's fine. I just hid him away just to scare you. He's fine, aren't you, Kenny? Oh, for God's sake, Kenny, not on the linoleum. Can you do the gorilla? Can you do the gorilla? I don't have the mask. Well, I, I, see, I see that. Imagine you, you do, and, and you're the gorilla. Oh, he's, is he going to stand? Will he stand for this? Um, I can't uh, stand it. <laughs> the gorilla kind of hangs and then you come, whoa, like that. And you do that one more time? Well, you do it louder. Whoa. You always do it louder than that. 